morning, everyone, and very, very happy new year. First of all, my apologies. My screen shows uh, my chief of staff's name, Dr. Tanya Lasker. I'm not Dr. Tanya Lasker. Uh, just like uh, Tendra said, my name is Ambassador Malik Nadeem Abed. And it's a great honor and pleasure for me to open up this beautiful event. And uh, great honor for me to represent the continent of Africa today. I'm proud to be a son of Africa for the day. Let me say a few words first about uh, my work, a little bit about my work, and then, of course, uh, we'll move on. Last year, I traveled to 87 countries around the world to promote peace, for, and especially for the youth empowerment and women empowerment. 2022, I traveled to 104 countries. And in these two years, especially last three years, I traveled to almost 51 countries in continent of Africa. And I'm so proud of it, so proud of it. But let me explain you what I saw in Africa. I saw three different uh, segments, and I'm going to explain it to you. First, I saw what everybody sees when they visit Africa, poverty, corruption, you know, violation of human rights the corruption of the political uh, leaders. But I also saw what many people don't see. I saw love. I saw care. When I went there, I did not feel in any of the countries in entire continent, 51 countries I visited, I did not feel myself to be a stranger. I felt like I'm at home. And thirdly, what I saw what most of the people, when they travel to Africa, they don't see. And that is hope. That is determination of the youth. That is the hard work of the youth to make Africa the world leader. And let me assure you, if you, the young leaders of Africa, if you get together what you're doing, and I'm so proud of my, my young leader, Mary Apollo, and of course, Telendra, and of course, uh, my very dear brother and my leader, Dr. Daniel, the young leaders like this, if you continue working hard the way you are uh, working, I can assure you there is no way in the world the Africa will not lead the world. Africa will have to lead the world, but you have to continue working. And remember, I'm always on your side. And I would love to see your resources, Africa is the richest continent with the natural resources. There is so much of the money and the resources that there should not be even 1% of the population below the poverty level. We will together make Africa the richest continent. And you all working hard and I'm so proud of you. So let me welcome you all again and uh, congratulations to all the honorees. It's a beautiful day. We are celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., he was not an activist only. He was not a political leader or religious leader only. He gave a hope to the world when he said, I have a dream. But let me also tell you, if Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was alive today, he would have been very, very disappointed to see the world full of bloodshed, full of killings, full of hatred, full of division. You, the young leaders of Africa, you will have to fight back. You will have to fight back. Can you please turn off your speak uh, microphone? Somebody's microphone was on. So you, the young leaders of Africa, you are going to unite Africa. And from Africa, you will take this movement around the world. Remember, no more wars, no more hatred, no more unnecessary killing. And Quran says, killing of one innocent person is like killing the whole humanity. Look at in your surroundings. In the whole world, people are being killed only to steal their resources, 
only to defeat their political ideologies. We are going to fight back and we are going to make this world a peaceful world. My question to you all, my dear young leaders of Africa, are you willing to fight back? Are you prepared to fight back? And let me assure you, if you are prepared and you are willing to fight back, we will make this world more peaceful and prosperous, not only for you, the young leaders, but for the generations to come. Congratulations to all the honorees again. God bless you all and God bless America. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Malik, for such an